When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Samesh, right now, more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. This is war. People die. If you want to keep that to a minimum, let them run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. This place seems strange. 
Wish there were more humans around. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. The Earth Clan Spectre has returned to speak with me. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consulate? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone, but it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander.
Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Hello again. The consort is I think I'm of done. Course. Here. Come back anytime. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is Show good me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, show me your items. Greeting. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? It's no big deal. Don't underestimate this opportunity, Commander. You have a chance to do great things for the Earth Clan. Perform well and your species may soon be asked to join the Council. There is no greater honor in the galaxy. A word of warning, however. The eyes of the entire galaxy are on you now. Some of them are hoping you will fail. Be careful, Commander. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Stick to medicine. You're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist. That's good advice. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. My parents... My... I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing Let me up take a look at what you of have course. for sale. 